Hallelujah. 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 Um, the Bible verse for today is from James 2 verses 14. James 2 14. And it says, What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? What is faith? Faith is being certain of what we hope for. And um, when we say deeds, what are deeds? Deeds are human efforts, are human actions that we have to put together with faith so everything can work to the glory of God. If you look at um, so many Bible stories in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, when I was reading, one thing I noticed is that the Canaanite woman, she went to Jesus. The centurion went to Jesus. The paralytic man was taken to Jesus. The woman with the issue of blood went to Jesus. Then they were, um, I would say they were blessed to have Jesus in their midst, but we don't have Jesus today. So what do we do? We pray and we call on him. And when we call on him, what do we do? We have to do the necessary actions to make everything come in place. When you read further down in James 2, it talks about Abraham. We all know the story of Abraham. And um, okay, verses that's in James 2, 21 to 22. It talks about Abraham. And 21 says, okay, I'm sorry, 22, James 22 says, you see that his faith and his actions were working together. And his faith was made complete by what we did. The, the Lord is telling us, you have faith. We have to do the human part. When I say do the human part, I'm not saying don't surrender everything to God. God is not going to come down from heaven and do certain things. So when you pray unto God, the human part, you have to move forth and do what you have to do. Is it a job you're looking for? You're not just going to get a phone call. You have to send out your resume. Tell people, I'm looking for a job. Have copies of your resume. So when someone says, when you tell someone, I'm looking for a job, they'll tell you, can I have a copy? And you have it with you. You're looking for a spouse. Go out, do the right thing. If it's fellowship or going to other youth ministries for fellowship, make yourself presentable. If you're a guy, make sure you look neat, you're well shaven. If you're a girl, do what you have to do. If you want to lose weight, or you just want to be healthy, it's not about losing weight all the time. You know you have to eat healthy, you have to drink healthy. And the Bible also says that um, Hebrews 11.6, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We have faith, and to please Him, we have to walk, and we have to put certain actions so He can see our efforts and bless us. When you look at the story of the centurion who went to Jesus and said, my servant is sick. And Jesus said, let's go to your house. He told the Lord, he said, um, yeah, I'm unworthy for you to come to my house. And Jesus said, I've never seen someone with such great faith. He so much believed that he telling the Lord Jesus that his servant was sick, whatever prayer or whatever the Lord did was enough to heal him. The woman with the issue of blood, too, she had faith that if I touch his garment, I'll be healed. But guess what? Jesus didn't know she had the issue. He knew, but she had to go to him and she touched him. Every day we hear um, prophecy about the cathedral and we look around, we're like, how are we going to do it? How many are we? But the Lord has seen our efforts too. We do the fundraising. We have different families trying to do the fundraising. And at the end of the day, the Lord will see our efforts just like he did Peter and the two disciples when he passed away. He says the night before they went fishing, they got nothing. Early the next morning, they went fishing and he appeared to them. They didn't know it was him. And he, they caught nothing, they were fishing. And he said, cast your net. They didn't know who he was, but they had this faith in him. And they did. And when they cast the net, they caught more. It was overflowing. And the net was overflowing. It's the same way it's going to happen. We wonder how we're going to do it and raise millions. But when the Lord sees our effort, at the end of the day, he'll tell us what to do. And when we do that, not only are we going to have the money for the cathedral, but we're also going to have extra. When you look at Matthew 15, 28, um, that's the Canaanite woman whose daughter was um, sick. 28 said, woman, 
you have great faith, your request is granted. When we have great faith and we put in our actions, not only will our request be granted, our prayers will also be answered. Amen. When you look at Hebrew 11 talking about faith, it talks about so many people, Abraham, Moses, Noah, and then at the end of it, that is Hebrew 11, 39, it says, these were, all, these were all commended for their faith, yet not one of them received what was promised. God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. When we pray, you put your actions together, and God will grant us even what he has planned for us is always perfect. James 2.17 also says, in the same way, faith by itself, if not accomplished by action, is dead. The Bible has said it all. And it says in 2.26 also, James, as the, body is without, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. How do we relate this to our Christian lives? For 2010, 2011, we all have something, or maybe some things, we've been asking for God. We pray, but we don't match it with actions. This year, 2012, is a year that I pray that the Lord will give us strength, not just continue to ask, because we have faith, but stand up and move and do what will lead us to what He has chosen for us. Amen. May the Lord continue to lead us and bless His holy name.